Many at Bethany uh, have been involved and support us and, and do know um, what we do here. But as a reminder, we've been a, an agency for 40 year, more than 40 years, and we depend on the churches, the organizations, the families, the people who like to keep their donations as local as possible. We now, uh, we do serve three school districts. We serve the Eastern York, the Dallas Town, and the Red Lion School Districts, which is about a third of York, Southern York County. It's a lot of people. Um, on our database for um, the households that we serve, there's about 300, probably more than that. In those households, most likely there's at least 400 children and usually between 80 to 100 senior citizens that we serve. We have different programming that we do all year. Mostly every day, it's about the food pantry. We need food to come in every day so that we can give it away every day to up to 200 households every month. The children, um, we sp of course like to spend a little bit of extra time with, with making sure that they learn good nutrition and have good nutrition in their house. And so, as many of you know, we have Kids Cafe, which is the summertime lunch program when the children are not in school. We try to supply them with um, enough of the individually sized things that they can actually have during the week that is a little better than going to a fast food and spending a dollar. So they get pudding and jello and cereals and milk and juices and, and fruit and that type of thing. That's about, um, that's usually more than 100 children every Monday during the summer weeks. And we now have extended the Kids Cafe to the school months so that every Friday there's at least 30 bags going out for children who are at risk to not have anything till they come back to school on Monday. And of course, when the holiday weeks or the snow weeks or the, the spring break or whatever happens, we'll give them more to get through those extra days or that, that week that they would have off. So there's a great need for continuing to bring those individually sized packages of, of uh, nutritional things in for the children, for the kids' cafe. It's also our warm program season, so that means the blankets, which right now we don't have enough of, so any blanket drive we can still do this year. Um, the um, hats, the gloves, we try to serve the families with what they need, the basic human needs that we all have, um, the food items that we need, basically everything and anything that you would like to have in your kitchen, we always need it. Toiletries especially, hygiene products all the time. Once we have a supply, we give it away, we have no more. So that, that's quite a bit for 300 families at least. That's, it, it goes as quick as it comes in. So anything that you all can do, we appreciate your help. Bethany has been such a great supporter. We love the, the fact that your coffee time is, um, uh, that we benefit from that and the apple dumplings. We always appreciate that, uh, especially when I get to get one because so, they're so good. And the volunteer help is a big thing. We really need volunteers all the time. Um, anything you can do uh, during the week, spend a couple of hours helping is much appreciated. So we will be changing our name. Look for that news to come out by the end of the year. We're hoping that all the paperwork gets done and we can roll this out in January. So it should be an exciting new year.